Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California and today we're going to do a video review of Saint Seiya Eagle Cross aka Eagle Marin. This is back when toys were made in Japan. Let me show you. <laughs> Let's move the little Eagle Cross, whatever the heck that is. I had to zoom in. 1988. Yeah, it's a little old. So, uh, well, I can actually rotate the box from here so you can see better. There it is, Saint Seiya. Eagle Cross, back of the box, very starry, <laughs> cosmic, I don't know what you want to call it. Man, they took the little sticker or whatever that was, the point sticker. There's that dude and his little cat. I dig that guy. <laughs> Anyways, there he is. She does have leg warmers, kind of leap. Oh, hey, that's one of the things. Uh, the figure doesn't have bare skin, not in her legs anyways. But nonetheless, everything kind of neat for this. Uh, damn it, I don't know anything about Saint Seiya, so I forget what that dude is. Ares? I don't know. Dragon? Sorry. There it is. Yeah. Eagle Marine. Marine, Eagle Cross, whatever. Oh, it is kind of windy out here, but the figure stands, sort of. Let me show you. First, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on two. Whoops. And this is what I don't like about the Eagle. It perches. But it's not bad. The eagle's looking good. Uh, it articulated too. The breastplate don't hold on to the eagle. And why does the eagle have breasts? Ah, uh, who cares? The neck does crane. There's a swivel right there. And I don't like the fact that the tiara just sits on that. Oh yeah, I also forgot. But I'll show you after I'm done with this. Swivels over here. And these are all points for or armor for Eagle Marin. Eagle Cross, whatever you want to call it. So the ball joint moves up and down. Uh, legs move, has bracelets, has swivels. So I'm not going to go too much in depth. The talons do whatever that is. But it's beautiful looking plastic. Back when they colored plastic, this color was shiny. Really shiny. So, whoops. And that thing is just going to annoy me to no end. So, nope, not bad. I'm going to set that there. Put the little tiara on, because we're going to look at that later. Yeah, it's looking good. One thing I forgot to mention is it does come with instructions, and trust me, I will need these because I don't quite remember how to do this. Hopefully I can do it without them, but... And also, as you remember, this is St. Seiya, little sandcastle with stuff on the top. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I don't know St. Seiya. Kill me. But you can get all the other saints... Yeah, look at that. There's Eagle Cross. And let me see. Yep, that was Dragon. <laughs> Dragon Cross. So I kind of remember Cygnus and all those other things. See, I, I'm getting the mythology right. And the Golden Cross. And the dude with the uncomfortable short shorts. A uh, kid from the 80s. You, you could may order this back in the day. So I guess you, that would have been pretty damn cool if you were a kid. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, cool. All right, uh, on to old girl. And the tiara fell off. I like her. I mean, she she does have that. Oh, one thing I forgot is she wouldn't be Eagle Marin without the extra. Yeah, without. Yeah, I just want to show you the facial detail. Sorry, I'm like stuttering here. So they actually got a little detail. I mean, it's from the '80s, so it's not too bad. Lipstick. It's not garish like the other mermaid Thetis. And she does come with the mask, which I really dig. Yeah, wish I, it held in there, but I really dig that mask. Articulation is the head does rotate 360, so it's not on a, it just basically rotates, not on a swivel here. Ball jointed shoulder, kind of neat, swivels in, bicep swivel. Another swivel on the elbow, single joint, has a... I uh, love this, the fact that the hands have articulation. And waist swivel, like the black leotard. And remember that the skin is not uh, showing here on the red. I love the cherry, crimson, red, whatever you want to call it. Double jointed knee, which I really, really dig. Look at the articulation there. Uh, yeah, the leg warmers are made of cotton. This is dirty. I mean, they are 20 some years old. It's kind of neat. Has a swivel on the foot, a little. <laughs> Looks like a 18th or 19th century boot, and I love the cloth. They have cloth for her waistband. So let me see. 
Yep. And I forgot about the leg articulation. The leg is ball jointed. So that's pretty good. For it is what it is. I really love that head, man. The head is just what sells me. It's awesome in that respect. So let's go ahead and armor up. Yeah, she does stand up, trust me. Her feet are made of die, die cast, so it makes her easier to stand up. Alright, so we're going to disarmor old boy here. So we're going to take all the pieces off. The gauntlet. Her shoulder pads and whatnot. Okay. Breastplate. Yeah, I, I told you that the, uh, the bird has breastplates. So try to do this as quickly as possible it does come with these little whatchamacallit bracelets I'm only gonna take one off and that's just the uh, it's not needed for her transformation so okay tail feather has to come off cuz I'm gonna also add a tail feather cuz that's her bikini give me a second okay there we go. I was going to try to make this review fast, but if you wanted to see more articulation for the bird, you can definitely see that. Neck crane. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's got the... What is that? Oh, yeah, for, for her arm. Ta-da! All right, put this in the background. I'm done. All right. Whew. Forgot about the tail feather. Uh, I'm going to put the breastplate first. Not because I'm kinky, it's because it's easier to do everything else if I get this out of the way first. So remember, articulation, pretty damn good. Breastplate over here. We're going to put, and it's supposed to have both of these on here. The shoulder guards, or yeah, shoulder guards or something. There we go. So nice little split level effect over here. Now, we can put things on, like this awesome tiara. I really am digging the tiara. This one has the little details, like eagle or something. Tira's awesome, I think. Then he got a choker. Whoops. Oh, wait, that's not a choker. I think I have the choker somewhere. Oh, yeah, I forgot it on the bird. Yep, pop that sucker up. Yeah, it's tight on the bird. There we go. Comes with a choker. Good looking choker. Yeah. <laughs> so now her neck can't move at all. Sorry. But it looks good. She also has some interesting thong underwear. Oh yeah. Also comes with this little clip. The clip is good for retaining that little waistband looking thing. I think they're exact halves. So I don't have to worry about putting them incorrectly. I love the waist swivel. Yeah, they do come with an extra clip, so if I need a clip that her little waistband, I do have an extra. While I'm here, let me put the gauntlet on. There we go. These little clips over here, clip on. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good for time. And this one right here, and as you can see, her face piece fell off. Okay, doing good for time. We're going to put the little armband right there. Doing good. That's what she looks like without the little face piece. There we go. Don't know why she has knee pads, but there we go. Almost done. And last but not least, she has a pair of bracelets. I only took one of them off, but it's on the foot of the bird. Yeah, so, yeah, there's the other one. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Dang, this took forever to transform, but I like it. It looks good. She's slightly bigger than my boy, G.I. Joe, here. Actually, she's like four and a half inches. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let me back up. Let me back the camera up a bit so you can see. Yeah, there we go. I like her. Sure, she was a pain to transform, but hey, I like her. In the ha now, I'll go down to eight because it was painful to transform. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch you all next time.